tremendous strides which have been made in terms of the administration and in terms of the level of organization, in terms of having more personnel involved in the decision-making process, it is certainly a, 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 a shift and uh, certainly a direction in which we are moving, which I am sure everyone is happy to be a part of. And I am elated to be a part of that. First of all, I think it's a, a breath of fresh air, as it were, in that the former General Secretary had been in the job for a long time and definitely moving in the new direction, it's always not a bad idea to have an individual who is certainly different in his approach and indeed in the case of Mr. Enrique Sanz, I think he has brought a level of professionalism and an air of calm to the administration of the CONCACAF. Enrique is a very soft-spoken, firm, intelligent, well-balanced, professional individual who I think has brought all of these great qualities to the administrative arm of the CONCACAF. And already, I believe these great qualities are beginning to bear fruits. And I think the CONCACAF in years to come is going to be much, much better off for having him as a part of the administration, and in particular, as the General Secretary. There are many changes which are evident. First of all, accountability. Secondly, the involvement of everyone. I think President Jeffrey Webb has brought a new vision and also a new attitude <clears throat> to the leadership of the CONCACAF. His style is, 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 is very different from, from the former in that Mr. Webb has involved just about everyone. When the new administration led by Mr. Webb came to office, one of the first things that the administration did was to establish a number of functional committees because in the past there were some committees, although there are more committees now, the committees in the past never really were never really able to function because the work was done by really one person administratively. But now what has happened is that the general membership is given an opportunity to, to participate in all the events and to be a part of the decision-making process. Um, this is what uh, President Jeffrey Webb has brought to the table, and I think it is working wonders. Everybody feels a part of the CONCACAF now. Everybody gives up their best, and, or, or they may be trying to do their best, but they all feel involved. I would love to see a lot more emphasis placed on development. Development, 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 because we could all, as administrators, do all that we want to. But this thing is about football and football development. And the only way we can achieve the highest levels <clears throat> of um, rewards then, it's by implementing training at every level. Already, we have seen the commencement of this, but I think there is still room for a lot more within our younger age group, um, you know, uh, tournaments or within the younger age group for development. Because let's face it, outside of Mexico, United States, and one or two Central American countries, there's really no established infrastructure for development. Now we are beginning to see the evolution of some of these, such as the CONCACAF hosting in the Cayman Islands in a few weeks from now, 
a tournament for youngsters at the age of 15 and below in a tournament which I'm sure will arouse the interest of not only the players but all the other players, the parents, the schools and the various countries. You see, because the more established football in countries like Mexico, United States, possibly Costa Rica and, and so on, have a system. But there are, you know, 35, 36, 37 other countries who are still way behind. And therefore, if as a confederation, more time and effort is spent in this regard, I believe in the end, the confederation will be much better off. And football would be certainly on a much firmer footing as it relates to its development. So that is certainly one area which I'd love to see us concentrate on. My vision of Gold Cup is that this is the premier competition of the Confederation of CONCACAF. Um, Gold Cup is such a very important tournament, not only in showcasing the talent, because it gives uh, you know, the countries an opportunity to showcase the skills, and uh, having had, when, when, when one gets this opportunity to showcase your skill on a stage, like the Gold Cup, participating in this competition. Players who are, should I say, at a high level, players who are exceptional, will no doubt be seen by the world. And they are create, they are, that will create an opportunity for that player to possibly uh, be seen by scouts, and then, in the end, to be invited for a contract. Outside of that, you could say that the CONCACAF tournament is the breadwinner, as it were, of the CONCACAF, because this is the competition which provides the income, which drives all the programs administratively and otherwise inside the Confederation. So the Gold Cup competition is, is, is huge. That is the catalyst that drives everything. And therefore, we want to, we must always recognize this and, and, and treat it accordingly. Um, we must ensure that the integrity and the standards of the Gold Cup are maintained at all times and at all costs. Because being such an important part of our development and our existence, we have to protect that. And therefore, the Gold Cup is here to stay, and I think the Gold Cup is here to get even better, bigger and better, as it were.